here we are again. Mailbag hands. I've received a couple of uh, packages from eBay lately uh, within the last two, three weeks, and I've kept them on the side just for this episode. And uh, well, we'll start with the first one. And this is a package that uh, of course comes from China, but uh, I believe it's my TMS 911A chips with the DRAM. It looks like it. Yes. Good. Very nice. And they look like TI and yep, TMS 9118NL chips. One, two, three, four, five. Net. And these are the TMS 4416 15. So I got five of those and two and ten of the chips. Uh, the memory chips. Uh, the difference between the 9118 and the 9918 is that the 9118 takes on only two uh, dynamic RAM uh, chips, which are well, basically uh, quad uh, 15 bit uh, uh, quad. Sorry, uh, they're four bit each. Um, of, of 16 uh, to, to so you need two to make 8 bit to get your 16k whereas the other one it's one bit uh, sorry for my fumbling it's early in the morning and my vocal cords aren't yet awake even though I've had my coffee uh, so that's my first little uh, buy because I want to make something that's small instead of having because I've made a TMS 9918 card before and uh, with the static RAM uh, update, if you will, instead of using dynamic RAM, uh, RAM, it does take a lot of space, real estate on the board. So uh, hopefully this will uh, help. Next in line, next in line, what was that? Hmm, I forget. We'll see. Oh, yes, 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 if I recall, Without opening it, I believe those would be the Yamaha chip sound chips. Ah, well packaged again. <laughs> they could at least put it on foams, but yep, ten of them. It says on a package YM2149F, and I believe this is what I ordered, and it costs, uh, oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention the price on the TMS9118 uh, was roughly for $523 US, and the TMS4416 chips, 10 of them was $8, which was a bargain. This for 10, it was about fifteen dollars. Basically, what it is, it's a um, uh, pin to pin compatible with the uh, General Instrument uh, AY three eighty nine ten, with in theory slightly better um, slightly better um, uh, sound quality uh, per se. We'll test it out. Not today, but. I'll replace those on uh, my 6502 system, which has a quad um, chip on it. Quad AY3 uh, 8910s on them. It's a, a lot of, so uh, of sound channels. I know, all mono. <laughs> so all of them are dedicated to one channel, one sound output. They look legit, but we'll see. You know, when you buy stuff from China, you never know. It's a, it's a roll of the dice. Enough with the envelopes. Now I have boxes. I believe this would be 
Um, this would be um, floppy drives. I saw a listing where they had new old stock for floppies, three and a half inch Mitsumis. And they were like, what, $35 each? So yeah, thought it was a good deal for a new old stock. Yeah, I know I don't have a knife. It's somewhere in the basement. Yeah, it's this this, uh, this side. Ooh. Yes. One. Two, get rid of the box. Still in there. Original blue little packaging. Mitsumi drives, model number, I believe D. Um, what was it? Let's take it out. Oh, wow. Very nice silver uh, uh, faceplate. Mitsumi D. Well, I need my magnifying glass. I'm blind. Where is it? Why did I? What did I do with it? Oh, there it is. D sixty three one one nine, or is it? No, no, no. Sorry, model number D thirty five nine M three D. Very nice condition. Very beautiful new old stock. I'm surprised the silver. I never saw silver uh, faceplates before. Beige, black, but silver? I was under the impression on the photo that it might have been uh, uh, probably beige. Certainly not black on the photo, but anyway. Very nice new old stock floppies. So this is going to be uh, used probably. <laughs> on my Z80 uh, system. So I'm gonna develop a... I've purchased um, some, uh, some uh, which I haven't received yet, I believe for uh, Western Digital uh, controller chips, uh, floppy controller, the WD37C65P, I believe, was like, for was about $8 each. So I'm waiting for that. Very nice. Next to, I believe this is the right box. I believe that these are the floppies because you can't do anything without floppies. If you have floppy drives without floppies, it's useless. I recall those are Maxell uh, floppies. I got 20 of them. And they cost $15 Canadian, so roughly 11 or $12 US. Come on. In the picture, they were still wrapped, so that too would be new old stock. But I don't know when they stopped making Maxell floppies, so I don't know how old they are. Hopefully, the uh, magnetic media hasn't degraded.
Yep. That's it. Maxell 2HD includes storage case. Three and a half discs. So yeah. Definitely new old stock. Is, is there a date on this thing? 20 discs, there's no price. There might be a price behind that. No wonder, huh? Let's let's take a look at it that before opening it. Well I'm not gonna open it today. But I am curious if there is a price behind that. I'm seeing some sort of orangey color behind that. Yeah, but it's being peeled off at the same time. I can get rid of that later if I want to keep them. Let's see if behind I can see something. I think it's a product code. Doesn't look like a price. All I see is um, three, four, five, eight, six in reverse. Yeah, three, four, five, eight, six. Yeah, well, don't, didn't get a price. Doesn't matter. So that's going to be nifty. Do I, I saw this listing where they sold 90 of them. Uh, for I think it was ninety five dollars. I don't need that many floppies. I mean, it's just to have fun with. So next one, I believe, would be new old stock hard drives, parallel ATA IDE drives. That too is going to be an interesting implementation on my Z eighty system and put CPM or some other operating system on it. I don't need any uh, specialized controller chips because IDE you can control basically with a couple of uh, gates, buffers, I guess. All right, now that looks interesting. It's getting, let's get them both out first. Yeah, nothing else in the box. Nope. All right. These I'm excited to have. Don't know which I'm more excited to have, was the floppy or the hard drives. Well, it's well packed though, that, that I can say. Like some other things I've purchased in the past. In the past, you know, I've purchased a couple of Tandy, um, not, uh, yeah, Tandy uh, TRS-80 Model 3s. I bought a total of them, I think what, five, I think? And you know what? All of them, N no exception. All of them arrive with the screens broken. That's discouraging. Oh, ah, the smell of anti-static <laughs> bags. Oh, that's very nice. Oh yeah, new old stock. I have a control, a USB controller that accepts PADA drives, so I will test those sure but right now sort of don't want to open the packaging so the model is a WT a WD 800 BB 80 gig 80 gigabyte drive 7200 uh, RPM and they were um, $40 no $20 each Surprising, I bought for $40 two new old stock hard drives and had more. I was really tempted to get a lot more, but you know, I 
I know, although I do have a house, I do have plenty of storage. If I start collecting everything and not using them, it's kind of pointless. I started this hobby uh, of collecting uh, new old computers and uh, I had a lot of them. I ended up selling them because back then I was in an apartment and had no space, really no space at all. So there was no way for me to keep those. Now, had I started this hobby with my current house, then yeah, uh, I, I could make a museum like many people do in my garage. Uh, but uh, currently I've got, I got rid of most of them. I kept a uh, TRS-80 Model 3 casing with a keyboard to probably do a project with it. But, um, and I have a Commodore 64 fully equipped with two drives, the monitor, uh, games, and all sorts of adapters, and uh, uh, the SD card reader and everything. There's a lot of, of things I have boxed. It's, it's boxed, everything is in an, a very good uh, con container. Uh, not cardboard, but plastic, so it, it's uh, it's not too uh, uh, exposed to the uh, humidity of the basement. Although I do have a dehumidifier. Well, that's it. This is oh, uh, do I have anything else? No, that's it. This is this wraps up my uh, fifth um, mailbag video. So we'll see you next time when I. Probably I'm going to buy some Mauser stuff uh, in the um, uh, shortly this week, um, and I also made an order at JLC PCB for some PCBs, which I'll uh, show you when I receive them. So here we go. Have a good day and uh, enjoy your uh, next YouTube video. Bye.